Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Um, Monday, just another Manic Monday. Wish it was Sunday. But uh, what better way to start off the week than with toys, with toy reviews. And today we got the Master of the Universe Revelations Skelly God. Skelly God, okay? So, Master of the Universe Revelations. This is the new series from Netflix, the Kevin Smith series. Uh, I watched the trailer maybe 17 times. Blows my mind each time. I need a hero. It's great. It's a great trailer. Lots of talk back in terms of like, is this... Uh, uh, neighbor just sneezed his ass off outside. I don't know if you could hear it. Um, but uh, lots of talk back in terms of, um, is this uh, series really going to be about He-Man? Is it going to be up to snuff? Is it going to be entertaining? I don't know. Okay. Uh, but I'm already buying action figures. Series unseen. So I hope it is good because then... I'm going to feel like, hey, why did I buy this? But, eh, you know, it's it's a cool action figure regardless. So you got Skelegod right here. And then on the back, let me just read to you right here. Skelegod, cosmic lord of destruction. Skeletor lives his life with a single purpose to control the unlimited power of the entire universe. Time after time, the Battle of Eternia was thwarted by He-Man and the heroic warriors. What kind of monster would be unleashed? Should they be unable to stop the Lord of Destruction? Surely a raising storm of horror and terror, even the bravest dare not imagine. And then you get the cross cell right here. So you got uh, you got Battle Cat, you got He-Man. He-Man's face is uh, it's a little bit of a derp face going on. Hope it's a little better in person. You got Moss Man, you got regular Skeletor, and then you got Evil Lynn. So um, let's go ahead. Well, before we open it up, just guesses on what this guy is. Uh, I'm guessing, as I think a lot of people, it's not an original guess, but uh, this is some kind of amalgamation, maybe, of both Power Swords, where He-Man, or Skeletor gets He-Man's power. Um, anyway, it looks like some kind of, like, final form thing. I'm guessing that this might be sort of, like, end of series, Super Saiyan Skeletor. Um, again, these are just guesses, I don't know, but uh, looks like sort of an end game form. And I believe this guy is bigger than some of the other figures. By the way... Uh, my guy got this at Target, and it was, I believe, $35, so that's what you're looking at. The other figures will probably be cheaper, because I don't think they're as big. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and open them up, and let's see what we are looking at. See you there. All right, guys, welcome back. So, oh man, uh, a lot of presents to this figure, and if this is in any indication of the Revelations line, I mean, I think I'm all in, because... The detail on this thing is amazing. Um, it, it really, you, it really does not do this figure justice to see it, um, uh, uh, to see pictures online. You really have to get it in hand. Now, there's a few pros and a few cons to this. Um, just in terms of the pros and just kind of like first reaction. I, I mean, I love the design of this. Uh, I will say, as a World of Warcraft fan, that. Whoever made this figure clearly was a fan of that game or that art style, and that's okay. I mean, it's 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 an amazing game. I used to play it for a long time, but this has such a Warcraft feel, okay? Just everything from the pauldrons to the little, I call it the fell uh, 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 neck piece, but, uh, you know, that, that green smoke neck piece, just the armor and all. It just reminds me of that. This cape, like, look at this cape. It's got all these different layers on here, so you have this layer and that layer, but then it's got these, like like things that hang down and you have these little um i don't even know what you call this but these little plastic pieces on here but this looks like it's something this really does look like warcraft art so um um it's 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 i i don't know first impressions i think the design on this is very very thorough i don't think this was something that was slapped together i think that this is done with a lot of artistry um i will say that the first con that i could give it is that it's there's a there's a little bit of an inconsistency in the details like you'll have moments or you'll have pieces that are super super detailed like the skull right here and the horns right here but then you'll have like these pauldrons which i like the look of them but it's just like this like one piece like plastic so i just wish that they could have just kind of kept that consistent um like I, I really think if there was a, just a little bit of texturing on this that would really really make this pop if maybe there was some texturing like on on these spots right here uh but all in all I, I, that's being nitpicky. I think, uh, well, one, one more thing too. I don't know if I love some of the fabric on this. I mean, it, 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 there's a little, 
this piece right here is just a little felt like it looks like it's like something you get out of like michael's or something like i i i don't know i i i sort of wish that there was a different approach to the to the cape but i do like the different layers and i do like these uh hanging pieces right here so um i will say all in all this is an awesome figure and it's definitely going to uh, motivate me to get more uh more out of this line um so in terms of uh accessories he comes with this like green I, I keep calling it fell because I'm like a Warcraft guy, but like this green uh, uh, punch, uh, beam punch or whatever, you can put that on and have him, have him cracking skulls like that. Then he comes with these two hands. They look like they're grabbing hands, grabbing slash fist hands. And then he comes with this sword. Now, I don't know if this is sort of the, uh, sort of the uh, combined power sword or what this is, but looks like it probably could be. The sculpt is really, really great. I just love how the helmet with the little... I guess V-shaped thing in there, and the and the ram horns, and the the pauldrons, and just the the, the gauntlets, and just this loincloth right here, the, uh, the 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 shin guards, and the, I mean, it's it's this is an intimidating figure. This will look great. It's it's very very eye catching, and um, I I seriously recommend it. Um, in terms of articulation, so you got the head goes up, head goes down. You got the ball joint here. Uh, you get some decent movement uh, from it. Uh, you get the ball joint on the uh, the ball joint on the shoulder. Although uh, you are not going to get him, there's only so much, at least for mine, that I could have his arms go down uh, because it just kind of stops here. I can have him stretch out about that way, and he can kind of do a little bit of this. But then there's obviously sort of like a limit there. Um, he has the bicep swivel. He's double. He's got the double joint elbows, which is really really cool. He's got the hinge on the uh, uh, on the wrist. In terms of abs, uh, he's got a little bit of an ab crunch, as you can see right here. Not too much. You're not going to get that much out of it. And then the waist, I think, full rotation on the waist. You get the ball joint in the thighs, and you get a thigh swivel, which is really, really cool. You also get a double joint on the uh, knee, which is cool for such a big dude. And then... Is there, you got a boot cut. Dude, it's, he's got a lot of articulation. You get the hinge here, and then you get the rock here. So there's a lot of stuff that you could do with this guy. I know a lot of people said that their joints on their boots were loose. Mine is not loose. Mine's pretty tight, so I don't know. I'm pretty happy with him. Um, in terms of how he measures up to the rest of the line, well, let's just go. Uh, uh, I have a Master of the Universe Skeletor Origins right here. It's comparison time. Uh, so you can take a look right here. Origins is obviously a, a smaller figure when compared to the Skele God. Now, remember, this dude is, he's like, he's probably like one of the bigger ones in the line. So uh, this is not a, an apt comparison because the regular Skeletor will probably be a lot shorter. But that's what, that's sort of what you're looking at, I guess, um, uh, in terms of the Origins line. And just for shits and giggles, in terms of the classic line, you're looking at something like that. Now, I know these obviously are regular Skeletors, battle armor Skeletors. But, uh, yeah, just to give you guys a sense of scale, the I, I know that there's been a criticism on this uh, on these uh, figures where the head is too small. Look, uh, it just in line with sort of like, I guess, the, uh, uh, the style, how stylistic this is and um, the Warcraft influence of it all. I, I, I'm sorry I keep saying Warcraft, but it just reminds me of that. Uh, the heads in those in those sort of stylized uh, versions or stylized games, they are small. I mean, they're, they're, the proportions are usually big body, small head. And if you look at the Revelations cartoon uh, teaser, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, He-Man is giant and he's got sort of a small head. So this probably will be what to expect. Uh, so if you don't like it, that might be a deal breaker. I don't mind the small heads. Uh, I, 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 I think that they're they're different and they're not that small where it looks ridiculous to me so but that's just my two cents anyway i'm really really happy with this figure in hand you definitely do need to see this guy in hand uh, the pictures do not do him justice he's got a lot of cool detail and i can't wait to see what this guy is about when the uh when the show premieres so that is it let me know what you think about skeleton god here comment subscribe give us a like and uh we'll see you next time Bye bye